Look at me real quick. I don't know if that camera can pick up the freaking dinosaur bumblebee. <laughs> dinosaur I feel like we just did something sexual. Our camera's just stuck. Ozen. Ozen. Nice pants. Nice pants. Nice pants. Ozen. 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 Nice pants. I want to head up the tail of the dragon. You and me both, brother. Shout out to Dave. What up, Dave? <laughs> This gorgeous is probably a fucking joke to those guys. Seriously. <laughs> Alright, so this is the Alien Gorge. I'll leave like a little uh, picture of like a bird's eye view map. There's decent like twisties in there, but it's nothing like the tail of the dragon or anything. So I used to, I don't know if it came up in any of the previous videos, but I used to have an Audi F4. It was, it was a Stage 2 by Turbo. It was an amazing car. I had it for nine years before selling it to buy the A6 Prestige that I have now. Besides the point, this is, what would you say, like a nine mile gorge? Um, Something like that? No, probably, probably about five, six maybe. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That may, yeah. It would be real bad if it was nine miles. Anyway, because that, that detail will be important in just a second. So I did a little time trial in the S4. And within the five or six miles, whatever length this gorge is, and you can see it's pretty twisty. I did it in five minutes flat. So that's doing roughly 60 miles an hour the entire time the entire time and obviously you're not doing 60 like right here well maybe in that car oh it's really getting on it in these in these fucking uh straightaways and, and yeah. non real twisty turns there is a long straightaway coming up here and the point of this story is i haven't even done a time trial on my bike because there's so much crack filler all over the road and it just makes me way too nervous flying around these corners when my back I'm going to slip out yeah a couple potholes here and there too yeah so I, I don't even try it I have a good time through it but I don't rip on it because I feel like I'm just going to go right into the guardrail on the other side of the road and I'm going to be caught in a web they're pretty unforgiving I hear <laughs> I mean, while we're on the subject of the S4 in the gorge, <laughs> uh, the car has never seen a winner in the uh, 16 years of its life. And I think it was like a January or a February morning. Probably February, I think. Um, it was a very mild winter. There was no snow or no salt or anything. And this is back when he lived at the house that we just saw. Just moved there. And uh, he's following me in his car, and you have to take this gorge to get there. He's following me in his car, and the first thing he says to me is, don't get too far ahead of me. Like, don't go crazy in the gorge, because my car pretty much, you know, couldn't really keep up with the S4 being all-wheel drive that it was and whatnot. And what and do I? The Pontiac Grand Prix, it's not gonna handle like. Yeah. And what did I do? I uh, as soon as the first turn came around, fucking gunned it. And it was about 8 a.m. I would say. The sun had not yet reached the gorge, and this yellow line right here was very, very, uh, very slippery. And I had very bald tires, and I went around a turn a little too fast and spun the car around 360 degrees and by the time he caught up with me uh, obviously i was already outside of my car basically picking up the pieces of my car putting them in the trunk of my car and he's like john what the fuck are you doing and i was like i don't know what i'm gonna do man i have to get this thing home 
and thank God that he was there and reminded me that my car had full insurance. I didn't even, it didn't even cross my mind that my, my car was going to get fixed. I thought I'd just fuck my car up for good. Jeez. Yeah. See what I mean? I don't know if the camera can pick this up. How bumpy and torn up and crack filled this gorge is. I mean, just look at this. I don't like. I I really hope the camera can pick it up. How bad this road is with crack filler. And for those who have never been on a bike or ridden over it, try riding over it when you're at a 45 degree angle on your bike, and tell me if your back end does not kick out. Because it will stand you straight back up in fear. I've had to check my pants a couple times. <laughs> you ever meet a cop in here? Nope. Uh, I can't say that. I was pulled over by a trooper in here once. Oh, yeah, for going over the yellow line, right? Yeah, that's what he said. But, like, I was following a car. Oh, and by the way, this, this alien gorge is what's in the intro to all my videos. So if it looks familiar, that's why. So I was following this car who was doing less than the speed limit, dude. Wrap your head around that. Less than the speed limit in the gorge. We were doing 60 that whole time. The speed limit's 35. So picture a person doing 30 miles an hour. How am I crossing the yellow line? <laughs> so it's pitch black out, dude. It's like 10 o'clock at night. And I've got this SUV riding my ass, dude. Like... Like, I could barely see the dude's headlights. And we get to that passing zone, and I fucking gun it, dude. And, like, I'm at 85 before I even get back. <laughs> and all of a sudden, these whoop, fucking, whoop. yeah, these red and blue lights come on. And Kayla just looks at me, and she's like, really, John? And uh, That car that you just passed was probably laughing his balls off. Yeah. So, but I played it fucking cool, dude. I was like, listen, we're in the gorge, it's at night, there's no cell reception, and I've got this SUV riding my ass. I didn't know it was a cop. So, I'm trying to get, I mean, there's a good chance that your SUV isn't going to keep up with my car, so I decided to gun it. And he was like, alright, I can see what you're saying, but I pulled you over because, it, well, first, obviously, he asked, why, does, does, do I know why he pulled me over? And I was like, probably because I was just doing 85. And he was like, no, I pulled you over. <laughs> because you were crossing the double yellow line. I'm like, so you're pulling me over because I'm crossing this double yellow, but not for doing 85. I'll take it. I got out of it. I'll take it. Did he actually give you a ticket? No, I got out of it. Oh. I didn't know if he like went to court and got a drop or whatever. Oop. Right through the red light because you're not watching the road. 